Hey ladies and gentlemen, my name is MJ, and welcome back to Minecraft Realms on the Trees 2.0 server. What? There you go. Uh, what I was riding back to spawn the other day on, thank you very much, on uh, my donkey here, I accidentally fed him a, um, I accidentally fed him a golden carrot, which kind of put him in the mood, so... I quickly got over to, to Ricky's little corral over there and ended up with uh, with this guy here who has Okay, how about how about a little how about a little carrot for you? Doesn't that help? Does that help? Is that, is that supposed to help? Love me a little bit more? Come on, let's try again. You've got uh, uh, you've got significantly more hearts than uh, than uh, your papa over there. I might have to um, might have to switch up all right, we gotta see this through to the end now. There we go. Nice. What's your? Uh, how do you? You? Oh, you yeah, you're not gonna do anything. All right, well, we'll worry about that later. All right. Well, tonight this is going to be, I think, probably a relatively short episode for me. It is Wednesday evening. Uh, this will be. You guys will be. This will be coming out Thursday morning. I've had to spend a few hours this evening. Oh, hello, my um. Um. My iPad just talked to me. Let me turn that down. Uh, I had to do a few hours of work, a uh, little bit of work this evening. Uh, we have a, at the food bank, we have a special distribution happening tomorrow that we needed some extra volunteer help with. So had to, had to do a little bit of work with that. So, but anyway, uh, I am going to take some supplies with me this evening on the little expedition that we're about to go on. Not exactly sure how much of all this I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need some slabs. Yeah, sure, I'll take all that. And I'll take those. I might want a few more of those. I'll explain once I'm gonna explain what we're gonna what we're gonna do with these once we get where we're going. But in the meantime, I took these. I'm gonna put that back. I can't imagine needing any more than that. And honestly, I can't imagine needing any more than that. I don't even know if this is the color that I'm going to want. I'll explain once we get out to, to where we're going. My um, Part of my issue with the wood that I'm taking. But in the meantime, we are going to go and have a little, a little hunting adventure. We're going to head over this way. And I will show you guys what we're hunting. So, but in general, I hope everybody's been having a good week. I hope everyone that has been watching has... Um, been enjoying the the, the, the the week of content so far, which has been which has been pretty fun for me to do. Uh, I got a message from Ash on YouTube that uh, she she said that it's been it's been fun that um, part of part of what she gets out of watching my videos is learning where things are on the server. So <laughs> that's been pretty cool. Uh, next week actually might be a week of of Ash content. Um, we are she and I are gonna. Hello. What are you? I see torches. Ash and I are going to do a little bit of a collab on... Hmm. Hmm. Ah. That, my friends, is what I'm looking for. But, as I was starting to say, Ash and I are going to do a little bit of a collab on Saturday. We're going to, she's going to take me out to the, to the jungle. Um, we're going to be talking about a build that we might be doing out, possibly in this area over here. And, uh, if you couldn't tell from the, the video we did before, Ash has a bit of an accent. And, she is from England. And, Ash is a soccer fan, or a football fan. I am a soccer fan. I follow an English team, and she and I are gonna have well, we're gonna have a little, uh, we're gonna have a little, little Minecraft football soccer podcast. So it should be, it should be interesting, and we'll see, we'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, you guys got to watch me fight some, fight some. Um, you guys got to watch. Ah, that is what I wanted. Hello, looting sword. You guys got to watch me fight some some slime the other night. I am not gonna make you watch me fight squid. I gotta go back under. I am not gonna make you watch this, but I will return in just. Gotcha. Oh, gotta die for it. I will return in just a few minutes. 
Alrighty, well, I am not 100% certain what I was thinking of when I started <laughs> when I started hunting uh, the squid. Uh, I don't need quite this many, uh, I don't believe. I'm gonna, I just want to double check something. It's been a while since I've crafted, um, hello, thank you, that is what I'm looking for. It's been a while since I've crafted clay. I just want to look here and see. Okay. Yeah, that, that... Okay, I think that's right. Alright, so I did need that much. Well, anyway, we are going to head out, folks. Tonight we are going to head out... I didn't need to do that. Uh, we are going to head out to the Mesa. Gonna go get myself some, some yellow stained clay, some hardened clay, because I need some black and gold. Black and yellow. Uh, blackened yellow clay because uh, we are going to start or I'm going to show you guys what I'm what I'm affectionately referring to as the quarantine zone so into the nether off to the mesa Alrighty. that was a that was a new and new and frightening noise so the mesa biome is this way. Gummy has asked us to keep it pretty. I'm going to do a little bit of internal digging, which is what we've all kind of agreed upon doing. But I actually kind of forget how long it takes to get to the mesa. So we are going to... We're going to... We're going to take a little take a little musical interlude here. And you guys can enjoy some Moby, courtesy... I hit the little stop button there. You guys can enjoy some Moby, courtesy of Moby Gratis, at least for the next 30 seconds or so, while we, while we head on out to the Mesa. Bye. Mesa. Uh, it seems like every single time I pass through the nether, it it goes from day to night, and it is night, of course, so I'm just going to hop right into the bed already here. I wish there was a setting that you could just turn portal noise down. Please read, the Mesa is a pretty place, let's keep it that way. When you need some clay, hollow out the mountain so it was still pretty hollow mine so there is a mine that is through through this way but the yellow clay that I'm looking for was down at the bottom and there was very little of it there uh, so we are gonna head to another area this is my little my little Pueblo house you can you can tell it's my build because there's nothing in it um, but we are gonna head over into another area I'm just gonna kind of wander over this way, and then we're just going to dig straight down, we're just going to dig straight on down, uh, and hope that we come across a bit of a patch of yellow. So, I don't think this is an area, I don't think the hollow mine has actually gotten over quite this far. So, let us just do this and see what we find. This is what I love about clay. You know it's solid. There's no chance of anything really bad happening until you hit stone. Red, red, and stone. And there is no yellow clay. Alright. Well. Let's head on back up. see if we can find another area. I'll be right back. I have never 
found something like this before. Hello! I have never found a cave in a mesa biome like this. A cave that intersects. This is really kind of cool. A little change of plans tonight, folks. We are going to explore this. This is really kind of wild. I'm oddly excited about this. This is really cool. I have, like, no torches. Uh, this is so cool because I dug in here and there was the yellow clay and that is exactly what I was looking for. And this is really, really awesome. I don't know why this just looks so cool. Really, I have never... No floor torches. I have never found something like this before. This is absolutely wild. I... Uh, it's like I can't even dig this out. Like, this has to be... This has to be turned into something. Oh, hello, creeper. Get wrecked. Oh, this is so cool. And now it looks like it just turns into a regular cave. Hello. Boom. Boom. Of course, I don't have any actual wood with me. I've got a bunch of slabs. Um, oh, this is so cool. I love the way... Oh, it looks like... Okay, it looks like it just loops... Um, looks like it just kind of loops around. That's kind of wild. And then there's something behind me. What is up here? All right, I need to get up, back up top, get some more, get some wood. I think I've passed some coal on the way in. We need to check out a little bit more of what's going out here, going on here. So let's head back up and figure out what is what. All right, I've got my torches. So let's get back into this cave and check things out. Uh, I know I'm a little bit weird. I do um, I do torches on the left as I'm as I'm going into a cave. I don't know why that is. I think I think I am gonna I'm gonna claim ignorance and say that I think I saw somebody do it once, and I just kind of picked it up from there. And that ooh, that is a that's a little bit of a drop. Where level am I at? I don't even know what. Where clay stops, so 56, okay. All right, so there's that. Oh, there was lots of... So I do have some random clay in my... Oh, this is so... Such a cool... I mean, I, this is probably super common, but I, I, I've, I've seriously never seen, seen this before, and to me, this is just really awesome. This is like one of those... Just one of those random things that you find in Minecraft, and it just... Wow, I mean, this is just so twisted, and just the colors. We're gonna... Uh, where was that? Let's, let's bust on through here and see what's... Yeah, I love the way that like it just kind of drops off in so many in so many places. There's not much there. It probably does the same thing over here. No, oh no, this is a definitely a dead end. So much yellow clay. <laughs> exactly what I wanted. So I will show you guys. So I had mentioned when I was doing my little, uh, when I did my project board, I mentioned something and I referred to it as the quarantine zone. So to give you guys an idea as to what the effect eventually I will be going for with the quarantine zone, 
is going to be something. Uh, oop. <laughs> Not something like that. The quarantine zone is going to be something like that. But it's going to be in the ground, and it's going to tell you where not to go. But anyway, we're going to continue to explore this a little bit. There was back here, I absolutely, I absolutely love, this is one of those crazy round, one of those crazy round rooms, and it's just wild seeing the roof. Look at that, look at that. I would never, I would never in a million years think of that design out of clay for a roof. But there it is, naturally occurring, which is really cool. So normally I would be pulling every single piece of iron and coal out of here as we go. Uh, but for right now I'm just kind of interested in doing a little bit of getting deeper into this into this cave and seeing what there is to see you've got to be kidding me you have got to be kidding me this is a ravine that is topped that is topped by a mesa again possibly common but I've never ever seen this before This is absolutely, this is absolutely beautiful. I'm, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm stunned, people. I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely stunned. I just don't even know what to do. I'm I'm just thinking of I'm thinking of possible base ideas coming down in here. I Normally I normally I, I dig out just so much along a wall as I'm as I'm going. Okay, so it looks like this so this way, it turns into just a regular, regular stone-topped ravine. Um, so I bet that probably is heading into the savannah. That's probably heading into the savannah. So this is probably on the border. I'm probably on the border right now because if you remember when I dug down in to my left or whatever direction that was, it was savannah, and this is probably with the intersection. So it's sort of like a a three-way ravine, and here is a, let's. Hey, you know, we could probably check that, because, you know, we've got this thing. Nope, still Mesa Plateau. Interesting. Okay, so much of speed, just a little bit, just a little bit lower. Oh. I see you. You might not be able to see him in the dark, but... That was a skeleton. <laughs> Creepy noise. All right, let's go down this way a little bit. Where's my, where's my way up? I want to make sure that I mark this well. Hold on. I'm kind of obsessive when it comes to, to marking, marking the way out sometimes. So we're going to do this. Yellow, yellow. Yellow, yellow. Okay. All right. I'm going to do a little uh, off-camera exploration here and see what I can find. Be right back. Well, I didn't wake, make my way too far. I went around one end of the ravine and back over to the other side so you can see I'm just directly across the ravine from there and found this pretty cool nice little opening there so I'm going a little bit deeper in again it still has the clay top which is just what is just blowing my mind 
and it looks like I'm going up higher here. So that was gonna be pretty cool as well. There's been very, very few mobs in here. I just heard, um, heard a baby zombie a minute ago, but never saw him. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely getting back up into the clay at this moment. Again, I'm not, not really going after any iron. Okay, and it just dead ends here. This has been weird. This is really interesting. Um, I do have one. I did. I was. I was digging around. I did have to. Uh, I did have to. Did I even get it? I guess my inventory was full by that point. I. I did dig one. Um, one piece of iron out and proceeded to. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna dig some iron on the way out and then put down some of this clay, and then I am going to collect some of this yellow clay, so I want to take you guys over to the mesa, over to the village, and show you what I have in mind. So, I will see you guys back over there, but have no doubt, we will certainly be back down here to do something. This is absolutely, absolutely amazing. I think that this could be like a pretty cool little mesa, mesa base. Much better than my Pueblo. Ooh! How about this? Pueblo houses down in the Mesa Ravine. There you go, folks. You heard it here first. I called it, guys. I want the ravine. <laughs> I'll be right back. Really didn't think much about how much I'd wandered <laughs> out here, uh, but I've managed to make it back to the portal. Uh, that was really incredible. I know that I was kind of raving about that a little bit, That, uh, but I've, I've honestly never seen something like that before. And as much as I love how much the what the mesas look like uh, that just kind of made this that just made this trip out here a little bit better so one of the things that I wanted to chat about in tonight's episode was going to be oh hello there creeper that's where I wanted to that is where I wanted to head one of the things that I wanted to, to say was I'm sure that everyone has a Minecraft wish list and there's those things that they would love for Mojang to put in the game. I am really happy with with what with what the game has. I think the I think the, the features they've added over the over the, the years have been really cool. I haven't been playing for long but I've been watching for quite some time, watching let's plays and whatnot for quite some time. One of the things that I would absolutely love there's three things I want. I want slabs, slabs, and stairs. I would love the opportunity to have dirt slabs. I think that would be a really cool that would be a really cool addition to the game. I don't want to grow on them. I don't want the opportunity. I don't want the ability to grow on them. I don't. I'm sure that would cause some kind of game-breaking thing. But one of the things I would absolutely love would be to be able to terraform to be able to landscape and walk up a hill. I, you know, we can do this. I can, I can, you know, I can put a, I can put a slab here, a slab there, and I can, I can walk right up. But it's wood, and that's, that's what it looks like, and eventually, this is, this is why I brought the wood. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see. I knew the dirt is a little bit different colored out here, and I wasn't quite sure. Yeah, we're gonna go with spruce. Um, but that is so. That is what I want. I want. I want two different kinds of. I want two different kinds of dirt slabs. I want regular dirt that grows grass, and then coarse dirt as well. And the other thing that I want. Here's the other thing that I want. This is my wish list. This is my. My very simple, my very simple Mojang wish list. I want to be able to do this. This I think would be really cool. People have probably said this hundreds and hundreds of times, but I want this. I want, I want clay stairs. Just again, it's such a, it's the clay is such a great, a great resource to work with in the games. So it's such an awesome, it's such an awesome thing to have. We're gonna do that. So 
So every time that I find a Mesa biome, I've I've found a couple. Well, I've only I haven't I didn't find this one. Gummy I think found Gummy found this one. But what I mean is, in any other game, anytime I've come across a Mesa, any other world I've played on, I always build build a little pueblo, which is I think is kind of fun to do. But what we're gonna do now? So eventually, I'm going to do this. I'm gonna gonna kind of terraform some steps. I'm gonna build some steps into this, make it a real nice casual. You can't jump up that. So make it a real gradual climb. I think every I've gone a different way every time. But where I oh, let's just do this. Oh, never mind. So here. is the village. The quarantined the quarantined village. I think I can get it I think I can get Ender Pearl all the way in. Close to it. Hello, gentlemen. So this is a little little village it's relatively untouched I think I've I think I'm honestly I think I'm the only one that's been here so I asked kind of asked everybody to, to leave this be this li yeah. librarian yeah I've hardly traded with these guys either there is a cleric here yes 40 we have a better cleric back at the village though back at spawn and a brown sheep huh I didn't realize he was in here. So I do have this all, I have this area currently walled off, but eventually one of the things I would like to do is I need to figure out what the extent of, I think that technically a village, if there's a well, I have, what I've been told is that the village centers on the well. So that means I have the opportunity that I'm going to be able to build village all out around there where there is nothing. But what I'm going to do is... Let's bounce back out here. Okay, I'm on the other side of the wall. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do this. Something along these lines. I think you guys can imagine where this is going. Oops, not that. Maybe, maybe not quite so, maybe not quite so checkerboard. I might go two, 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 you know, two, two as we go. All the way around the perimeter of the village. And then what I want to do is I'm going to gonna do in-ground lighting, jack-o'-lanterns covered up with, I've got to bring some leaves back, see that, see what kind of leaves look good in the ground here. And then I'm going to also light the area outside of the ring. I want to I want to light the area a bit so that we don't have any mobs. And then I'm going to work on building an invisible fence all the way around. So I know that there is possibility the possibility of a zombie what do they call it? A zombie siege? Yeah, zombie siege. Uh, if I'm here in the village at night, but otherwise I want to light the area in such a way that you're not going to be able to see any torches. Well, there probably will be some torches or some lighting here in the village, just because that's going to look normal. But hello, oh, you don't have a you guys don't have a farmer yet. But there we go. So that is that is it for tonight. I'm gonna gonna put edit this together real quick, and then this will be for you. you guys will get this in the morning. If anyone else, please tell me if you've seen. A, a, a cave system underneath of a mesa like that. Again, I thought that was just really cool. I did get, I did end up with a stack of iron. So I was really happy with that. I've got to be able to do something with that. If anybody has any suggestions as to what they think would be a cool build for underneath of there, please let me know. That would be awesome. Hello. You're the, you're the librarian. Oh, hi there. How's it going?
That was a that was a very deep. <laughs> that wasn't. Anyway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. As always, leave a comment if that's your thing. Um, eh. Get in touch. Subscribe. Have a good one. Enjoy your Thursday. I'll be enjoying mine. It's almost Friday. A little bit of a weekend. Tomorrow we're going to be back with a little bit of expo an exploring and a talky episode. I'm going to have to figure out. I think I might just... I don't know. We're gonna be we're gonna be exploring a little bit tomorrow, and I want to talk. Gonna we're gonna take a minute to talk about volunteerism tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes, and hopefully we'll find something exciting. Maybe we'll find a nice biome. Probably not. But anyway, thank you guys very much. Enjoy. Have a great day, or have a great night, or have a great whatever it is when you're watching. Peace.